Hello, everyone. Here's this week's Monster Mondays, which might be getting a name change soon, so you might see a bit of a shift in future story content. Once again, this is a prompt challenge done by Pixelwolf over on Twitch. Feel free to check them out. Their link will be in the description below. This week's prompt was again by Robin, and the words were greasy hair, Cheeto dust, toothy grin, bowling, computer. And with those words, let's go ahead and take a look at self-improvement. Are you plagued with greasy hair after a long day of sitting at the computer? When you run your hands through at the end of the day, do your hands come away streaked with oil and orange from Cheeto dust, you slob? Fortunately for you, I'm here to help. Gail blinked, rubbing her eyes as she stared at the TV beyond her computer. A woman with perfectly done makeup perched on a stool behind a white counter. I've helped lots of people working through the day and night. From accountants to artists to programmers and politicians. The product I offer is fantastic for everything and won't require you to change anything about your pathetic lifestyle. Gail shook her head, glancing at the open bag of Cheetos she's gotten from Costco. Right. I don't need to hear this. Where's that remote? I can fix all of those problems and more. The woman leaned forward as Gail patted around her, then tried to reach under her chair. Had she dropped it? Suddenly, the volume increased. You need to be better. You know this as well as your family, your co-workers. Gail flailed, bowled over from her already precarious position as the chair crashed down on top of her. I mean, look at you. Your balance is off. You've gotten soft working from home. Gail could swear she heard a faint snicker in the voice. But I have what you need. A strange clicking sound echoed from the TV as Gail tried to catch her breath. You'll finally be able to get Taylor to notice you. Your mom might actually care about what you do for once instead of vaguely admitting you exist to her friends. Gail managed to sit up, her hip aching from where she had landed on it. It was weird that the randomly selected name matched up to that nice co-worker, but she looked around from the floor where the woman was smiling, holding a bottle in her hand. Oh, there it was. The remote sat right in front of the screen, clearly placed to be easy to find. She must have left it there earlier after the last time she'd ended up taking it to the kitchen. She stood slowly, limping over to the TV. After all, what you have is so little that I'm the only one who could help you at this point. You've been stuck in a dead-end job for what? Five years now? Gail paused as she reached for the remote. What? The infomercial woman's hand darted out, suddenly piercing through the screen to wrap around her wrist. Oh, come on, Gail. I knew you were slow, but this really is too sad. The woman's plastic grin broadened, revealing a mouthful of pointed teeth and a toothy grin. You need me, and for the low, low price of your first three partner souls, I'll get you those partners and a better position at your job to boot. Gail stammered as the woman stepped through the TV, the grip on her hand not releasing as the click sound echoed. Glancing down, it wasn't as hooves as she had begun to fear, but of steel gray stiletto shoes. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Her perfectly manicured nails gleamed against the bottle as she held it out in her other hand. Gail thought about it. She didn't have to go after Taylor first. She nodded reaching out with her free hand to grasp the bottle. Excellent, the infomercial woman purred. We'll get them back here, and then it will be all on you to do the deed. Gail sat up with a gasp from the floor next to her desk. She was about to dismiss the weird hallucination when she saw the bottle sitting prominently in front of her, an elegant number three etched into the black plastic, but below that... A crudely etched expiration date. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. This week, the art was done by BT Newberg over at Dead Ideas Podcast. Links will be down below to his stuff. And remember, they always get you in the fine print.